Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to this Spellbinders card making project. In this project we're going to use some of my favourite dies from Spellbinders that we've had just recently. And we're going to make a gorgeous project, something a little bit different. So I'm just going to run through the items that we are going to use from Spellbinders. Everything that we do use throughout the projects is always listed on my blog. So please look out for the project on there and have a look at the write-up. And there's always extra photos on there as well for the insert and the outside, just to give you more inspiration. So the first item that we're going to use is the Bird on Cherry Branch die set. And this is one of my favourite dies this year from Spellbinders. It's such a pretty die and very versatile. We're also going to be used, yeah, using the ornate frame from this set of dies. Now, I'm sorry the name of it escapes me and I haven't been prepared enough to write it down. But it's going to be the large frame that we use from this. I will put the name on my blog. So we're also going to use the Totally You set of dies and I'm going to be using the actual flag die from this set. And then we're going to be using the journaling words some of my favourite stamps from Spellbinders this year. They are so versatile. There's so many words in them. I think it's 92 words. And they just work for so many different occasions. Definite for your craft stash there. And then lastly, we're going to use my favourite set of stamps from Spellbinders ever, possibly. And this is the Floral Divine set. Now, we've used them with bright colours before. We've used them with lots of different colours before. But we're going to go quite dark this time. And this is a set where you get the stamps and the dies. So, even more versatility. So, without further ado, let's crack on and make a card. So, I'm going to use a 7x5 scalloped edge card. You don't have to use a scalloped edge card, but this is what I had in my little card drawer and I thought oh, we'll use that for a change. So it's 7 by 5 inches in size and we're going to start as always by using a bone folder to make sure that the crease along the edge is nice and sharp. It's just so it looks professional when it stands on the mantelpiece because I think you know you want it to stand proud and stand straight. So for the inside of this card, very, very easy. I've taken a section of white cardstock and I've cut it to fit the inside of the card. And I've taken the leaves from the Floral Divine stamp set where we've got the stamps and the dies to match. And I've stamped two leaves and then I've used the journaling words to write anything is possible because this is kind of an inspirational card. It could be a card to use after graduation for some somebody who's going on to bigger and better. It could be somebody who's leaving a job, somebody who just needs that little bit of encouragement in life. So this is perfect. It could be, you know, the words can always be changed. But the idea behind the card, you could use it for any occasion. So I've stamped two of the sets of leaves and I've stamped the words anything is possible. Now for this I've actually used pixie powders to colour in on top of actual watercolour pens and I've simply watercoloured, I've dropped some gold and um, it's normally a spritz, a spray that you can get like a mister but I've just dropped a few drops of gold onto the leaves and then made a quick squeeze of the pixie powder, added a little bit of plain water just to merge it all in so you get that kind of metal look. So we're just going to simply add this using flat tape to the inside of our card. And you'll see that where I've stamped the leaves, I've stamped one um, kind of an L shape, one upright and one at an angle like that one upright one at an angle and then I'm going to add one of the floral divine flowers 
Now I've taken this through my Xyron machine and I've simply taken it through to get the adhesive on the back of the flower so that I've um, gone around the edge to kind of like release the adhesive clutches and I've peeled it off the carrier sheet and now I can place it between the two leaves and press it down and that is our insert finished now the colours for the actual flower because I've used um, well I've used watercolours and I've used yellow orange and a kind of like a cerise pink and I've simply just colour washed the cardstock before I stamped so you can see it all blends in and it just looks so pretty that colour way just works so I hope it works as well on the front no reason why not hey so let's do the front now I'm just going to use my bone folder to make sure I've still got that nice sharp crease now the first layer for the front of our card is quite a colourful one and I've used spritzers and watercolour to create a background I've used the spritzers as dropped rather than as a spray and I've just had fun with colour and you can see there's a little bit of pearl in there there's a little bit of gold and it all just kind of merges together to make one glorious firework looking colour an explosion of colour there so I've got double sided tape on the back and I'm going to add that as a base for the front of the card and I'm just going to press that down and then the next layer is where we've seen the frame die from Spellbinders I've just cut that in plain white cardstock and it's going to go over the top of our Festival of Colour background because that it, that's just what it looks like a festival of colour so I'm placing that down and pressing it onto it so now you can just see the colour through the actual die cut sections of the frame so it's kind of like trying to get out but it's trapped under there so you can just see sections of it it's not too much next I've used the Totally You banner die and I've stamped the words enjoy and saw onto um, just a dark brown cardstock using black permanent ink and I'm simply going to add that just to the top section of the oval of the card and then I'm going to just add before we add our little bird that I've stamped and coloured and used sprays and pixie powder and lots of different things on there and before I just add him I'm just going to add a little bit of our foliage just underneath our um, sentiment at the top and I'm simply just adding two leaves and and a fern there we go I think it's a fern in my head it's a fern so we've just added some of the floral divine greenery stamps and dyes now I've got my little bird and I've used again pixie powders on the front of him and that's where the metal looks uh, the metal look comes from I've used watercolours and spritzers on the cardstock and then I've die cut it I've got him on 3D foam and I'm simply going to position him slightly to not so much in the centre but just slightly to one side and press him down like that and so you can just see him in the centre and then I'm going to start adding a little bit of foliage at the base of the die cut bird 
and I've coloured these in using watercolours and spritzers and I've just had fun with them. I haven't tried to do them in any particular way. I haven't tried to make them all match. I've just used the spritzers and had fun. So we can add our foliage like that. And then I've got two of the flowers that I've stamped out and then die cut that I can add on top of the foliage and then a larger one for the centre and then I can finish the front of the card off with a nice burnt orange bow and I think that all works perfectly to use the bird on a branch die just something a little bit different and I just think it all works I'm going to move that little one there so you can see the bird there we go because I know you'll all be screaming now you can see him and it just all works so well something a little bit different to bring positivity to somebody and the words energy and so uh, enjoy and so could mean a thousand different things and now you just you can just see how it comes together so perfectly and the background and then using the white of the frame stands up nicely would definitely go on a mantelpiece and I just think that's so pretty a great use of a selection of spellbinder dyes especially the inside look at that just nice and fresh and the colours just I don't want to say pop the bang there we go so it just all looks so gorgeous and it's another idea another little bit of inspiration that I hope you've enjoyed please share please feel free to share any of my projects and let me know what you think do you, do you like my projects do you enjoy watching do you enjoy getting a little bit of inspiration so it'd be great to hear from you um, as always shall we say so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time